Okay, guys, listen up. Now, first race of the season, and we just might have a beast of a car here, okay? So we've got to play it cool. We've got a sandbag, just like all the big teams do, okay? So uh, keep it quiet. Hey, Horner, wait till you see the ass of the hast. It's the only part you'll be seeing. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome to a brand new season of Kicking Hass. It is race one of season two and we just might have ourselves a very, very quick car this year. Certainly uh, just based off of a testing. It looks as though we are uh, very, very competitive in the corners. So I'm excited to get this uh, race underway, see what we can do. Of course, Sergeant and Magnuson will be the men on the track for us. And if you did miss last episode, we do have a new reserve driver in Kalen Frederick. So he's a little bit better than uh, what uh, what uh, Correa was. We still can't get Jack Crawford. We're waiting for him to turn 18. So possibly this time next year, we'll see him in the reserve role. And uh, Kalen can. We'll have to wait then until Magnuson leaves, and then we can then we can get Kalen back in as the reserve. But uh, let's go and have a look and see what we're expecting from the race here. Bahrain, as a reminder, we are expecting. I'm assuming a dry race because it's in the desert. Uh, you can see there for qualifying, red is sector one, blue is sector two, yellow is sector three. Lots of slow speed corners, lots of medium speed corners, and of course, some fast ones as well. We've got the car attributes there. We should, as I say, we I think we've got a good car, but we won't know for sure until we get out there. Uh, we are expecting a three-stop race. No, sorry, a two-stop race. And there is the compound performance as well. And last year's result, we had K-Mag there in seventh. Seventh? What am I looking at? In tenth, Mick Schumacher trailed in in 14th. So let's see if we can improve on that in season number two now what are we going to do for performance targets qualifying position uh two in say two in the top 12 might be a little bit uh we have faith in you logan so we'll say we get someone into q3 and into q2 finishing position i don't think i don't i don't like guaranteeing fastest lap that just feels like you're setting yourself up to fail a little bit uh we need a hot streak of three times having someone in the top 14 we should be okay with that in qualifying and the race and uh yeah well Let's get onto the plane. Let's get out to Bahrain. That rhymes. And uh, see exactly how good this car is. So confirmation of the weather. It will be a dry race. I'm going to go and do free practice. We'll be back for qualifying. And we'll keep your fingers crossed. This car is as good as it looks. All right, free practice is done. Now, the good news is that the car is quick. The bad news is Logan Sargent ran at the back of somebody and has a grid penalty, I'm assuming, three places. You can see here, FP1, though, we were very, very close to topping the session. Second and sixth for Logan Sargent. FP2, K-Mag was fourth. Uh, Sargent was down here. This is where he got his penalty, uh, so it was a little ways off the pace as a result. And uh, then FP3, 10th and 13th. I'm not too concerned about this, so even though we are all on a soft tire, we did our soft tire run early. Um, uh, and I, might, I was going to try and save a medium set, but then I also had loads of soft set. We probably need it for qualifying if we're going to go all the way to Q3. So anyway, um, yeah, we just kind of uh, did the soft run earlier. So they all had, everybody else had better track conditions when they did their run. So I'm optimistic. We're going to be looking good here. There is confirmation of Sargent's uh, three-place grid penalty. You can see setup confidence is spot on. Now we're only going to come back for Q1. If it looks like we're in danger of not getting through, I suspect we're going to be absolutely fine. So as I suspected, no problem at all, though it was a little bit closer than I was anticipating. The first lap, we uh, we both got held up quite badly, and they were sort of, we were sort of 10th and 13th or something, so I wasn't too concerned. But then on the uh, on the second lap, Gwen Yu Zhou actually uh, went off the track, so it was a yellow flag, so uh, it, did, it affected both of our cars. So we've gotten through, though you can see only just in the case of Mag, well, in both of their cases. So on to Q2 we go. Oh right, second run in Q2. We are at the we are last and second last on the track. Sergeant currently in ninth, and we have Magnuson up there in third, absolutely flying. You see what I mean? Like we really weren't in danger in last session. It's just circumstances really did uh, almost conspire against us. But I don't remember Sergeant ever getting out of Q2. Maybe in a wet race he might have, or wet qualifying, I should say. But certainly not just on general pace. So. Yeah, let's see what we can do here. There's some green sectors behind us. Sergeant has only managed a yellow first sector, so that's not great. K-Mag has gone green. Now uh, we've got another yellow flag. Magnuson has spun. Well, that was silly K-Mag, wasn't it? He should be fine anyway. Uh, so we'll call him in and try and save that set of tyres for a run in Q3. But let's see what Sergeant can do now. 
Can he do a green second sector and keep himself in contention here? Checkered flag is out. He has done a green second sector. And he might get a bit of a toe off what I think is an Alpine in front of us. Or is it a Williams? So I don't think a Williams has gotten through. So he's sitting in 11th right now. And he goes 10th. He got through. Go on, Logan. So for the first time in his young Formula 1 career, Sargent in a dry race is through to Q3 along with K-Mag. Let's see how far up this grid we can get. All right, so Leclerc has spun on his outlap, it looks like, but uh, we currently sit ninth and 10th after the first run in Q3. Now, those are obviously, we run that, that first stint on used softs, so there is some time to be had and uh, just on, on, you know, with a new tyre, and then obviously we need to improve a little bit perhaps on top of that as well. Uh, we seem to get, I, maybe I need, to, I need to stop going out quite so early, but we do seem to get a lot of traffic on our outlaps. Um, just it's just been, been Bahrain, not necessarily sort of all the all the time. Oh, and there's a spin in turn, whatever that is, and that is going to have massively hurt our lap time. Oh, it's Bottas, who currently sits P6, and uh, well, we'll get an idea when we get our middle sector times at the end of this corner that uh, we're coming into there. So it is still green, yellow for K Mag though. So. Bottas's little spin may have cost K Mag as high as fourth on the grid here, I suspect. Uh, let's see what we've got. Sergeant stays where he is. So it's ninth and 10th before penalties. So there we go. Valtteri Bottas has kind of screwed us over there. A 31-3. So, we, well, could we have gone any faster anyway, I suppose, is the question, isn't it? Uh, but there we go. Ninth and 10th. That's not a bad start to, uh, to the season. Uh, it'll be 9th and 13th for Sergeant after penalties. Now, how do we do this race? It's a three-stop, it looks like. Do we go soft, medium, hard? I think that might be the way to go. Though I'm thinking if we start on a medium, uh, go as far as we can on that, we will get on the soft as early as we can. Yeah, we'll do that with Sergeant, but I'm thinking with K-Mag, we might actually just stick to the actual strategy there. Because what I'm thinking is that if there is a safety car, we'll have a little bit more room for, for negotiation in terms of uh, stops. If we start on the soft and then have the two longer life tires at the end, and then we should have another soft tire if we need to at some point uh, under a safety car make another stop. So there we go. That will be the strategy. And uh, well, let's see how we can go. Disappointing qualifying. Hopefully the race will be better. All right. Welcome back. It is an all Red Bull front row. And the Haas is a little bit further back than I was hoping for. But here we go. Let's jump on board. Sergeant 13th. We've got Magnussen up there in 9th. But we're better than that in terms of pace. We really, really are. Uh, we're going to go a little bit easier on the tyres to start with. We are, as ever, deploying. Just trying to make up as many positions early on here as we can. And, well, he's got a good exit there as Sergeant. Can he take this McLaren? It's Nor Norris in front of him. We look at the tires that everybody's on. Sergeant's the only one not on a soft tire. So we'll see how that plays out for him, really. I mean, it makes me kind of think I've made a horrible mistake, or have we actually just made a good a gamble that might actually pay off for us down the line, having done something different. He's got past Norris there. Having a look now at Ocon, we've got uh, oh, Magnussen in danger of losing out in front there. Now we might actually get a run on Gasly. And we've got to get used to Gasly in the Alfa Romeo. As we've got the inside of Ocon. And oh, K-Mag has got pinched to the apex there. We both have. And let's see where this goes from here. Can K-Mag stick it up the inside of Gasly? No, he's not really quite close enough. But uh, we will see where this goes from here as we come around to complete the first lap. He's got a really good run. Of course, we are deploying. Can we stick it down the inside? We've got the nose in, showing some curb. And that should be that. K-Mag up to eight. Alonso in front of him. And you've got to say, the pecking order does kind of look kind of similar to last season, to be honest. Uh, Alfa Romeo, of course, were, were strong. They were fourth in the championship. Alpine were fifth. We were sixth. Um, so you add to that Mercedes, Ferrari, and... Uh, Red Bull, who were the front three, and it is a very familiar look to the front of the field, unfortunately. McLaren, I think, are going to be close up, but maybe not. They were developing their car late last year, so maybe that sort of put them on the back foot for this season. 
Uh, but DRS is about to become activated, so I won't burn through uh, all the Urs. We do have Sergeant now up to 11th, which is good. Let's see, he's got a Ferrari in front of him, which will be tough. But as long as he can stay in a uh, DRS train there, then we should be fairly happy. DRS is now enabled. And let's see how that affects things. Sergeant is just outside of that DRS. Uh, he's actually at the front of his own train. He's got Ocon in front of him now. Now, of course, on the medium tire, he just is he is, he is stuck up behind. No, he's not. Is he, is he lost the back of Ocon? What he needs to do is just try and stay in, in contention right now. And this will come back to him later on. Magnussen is currently 8th as Norris now has got past Sergeant, He just needs to try and, and stay with somebody and hope that they can drag him up to the back of uh, of the cars in front. But unfortunately, Ricardo has got past him now as well, and he's going backwards here a little bit. But like I say, it will come back to him later on in the race. There's no need to panic just now. Tire life is roughly where we want it to be. Okay, I am considering an undercut here with Magnussen. He's fallen to the back of this train that is currently stuck behind Hamilton. Uh, now, if we come in right at the start of our pit window, we do have a little bit of extra life in the hard tires. And I'm thinking, let's come in early. Let's blast as much as we can as somebody has tumbled down the order there. It is Hamilton. Now, okay, so, well, okay, that kind of changes things. So Hamilton drops down to 16th. Uh, so now, well, maybe we, maybe we do look to go a little bit longer if that cork is out of the bottle. So, uh, never mind. Hamilton, take care of that for me. So pit stops are starting. Uh, Magnussen is actually, this, oh, they're all now stuck behind Russell. And uh, we've got Sergeant that is somehow, well, I'm assuming because Tire Life has uh, brought himself back into this. Uh, so we will stop with K-Mag on this lap, I think. What's his tire condition at? 39. So he's almost at the end anyway. We'll put on the hard tire and have a bit of a run with him. But you can see just in the background there, Sergeant is uh, he's brought himself back into this nicely, which is excellent. There he is there behind uh, Ricardo. And again, he's you know he's got his soft tire run to come. So this is... This is good. This is really good on uh, on Logan Sargent's part. Now we just need to get Magnussen in the pits here. And uh, this should be him. And Sargent will continue on with Russell. He's now sitting third. And Magnussen comes out just behind Hamilton. Well, let's hope we don't get stuck behind him for a whole other race. There's a yellow flag out, but uh, nothing to see there. And Logan Sargent is about to take the lead of the Grand Prix, I believe. There he is. As Leclerc stops, he's got a nine-second gap over... The Red Bull's behind him, and uh, he can enjoy some time in the lead of the uh, Bahrain Grand Prix. All right, something has happened here. We've got retirements. Alonso's got a penalty, I think, does he? Have we got a safety car? Let's have a look here. Multiple cars involved. I think it was around about the... Uh, there's that hash back there. Is that Magnussen, I think? Oh, and it's uh, yeah, Alonso locking up, taking out... Either Bottas or Gasly. Now, are we looking at a safety car here? No, which is a shame because it would have perfectly suited Sargent, who I think will be coming in this lap anyway, uh, now that the Ferrari's got past him. So we'll stick on the hard tyre. And yeah, like I say, a safety car there for Sargent would have been absolutely perfect. But unfortunately, it wasn't to be uh, quite perfection on this occasion. But that has moved Magnussen up to 11th. And he should bring up another position when uh, when Sergeant stops here. It's a matter of where Sergeant comes out now. But again, he's got his soft tire run to come. So that is that is all absolutely fine. And let's see what sort of a pit stop time we're looking at here. I didn't see what Magnussen's stop time was. Um, I mean, if we can get close to three seconds, that'd be nice. That's not bad for early in the season. We can live with that as Sargent will come out just behind Albon in 12th. Magnussen is up to 10th. All right, we have a virtual safety car. I'm not quite sure what for. Uh, it's too early, really, to make a stop, isn't it, for either of them, because your medium tire is not going to get home from here anyway. 
we are harvesting with K-Mag. We could probably harvest like anyway away. with Sergeant. Uh, we really do need to get K-Mag past this group of cars here, the Hamilton Norris Gasly battle. We, I mean, I've, it's been a bit of a disappointing race so far, but hopefully if we charge him up, we'll use the overtake and pick these guys off one by one. That is certainly the plan here anyway. Okay, virtual safety car is ending soon. We will continue to charge, I think, with K-Mag. And there we go, back to green. And when we get to the front straight here, we will move him onto overtake. And, well, we'll stay on board here and see if we can indeed start to pick off these guys. They're just, they're holding back our race right now. Here we go. Come on, K-Mag. You need this, mate. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Everybody's got DRS, which is the problem. We get the big recharge at turn one. And, yeah, we're just not able... We're just not able to get these guys completely under control. Sergeant and Alonso are battling away 11th and 12th. Alonso has the penalty, so we don't necessarily have to worry about him too much. Can we stick one up the inside there? We can. All right. Good move. We're uh, out of battery now, which is a shame, but we did manage to get one. Now, did I just see Gasly was on a medium tire there? He is. So he's going to go to the hard that's late good. on. So that's a good move, having to overtake a different tire compound. Now, Hamilton's in the same position. And so is Ricardo in front of him. So it, this might come back to uh, to Magnussen just based on tyre compound alone when he goes on to the medium at the end. But it doesn't stop the fact that, I mean, it should be at least fast enough as uh, we've got friggin' Alfa Romeo sticking itself up the inside of us. Yeah, we're just stuck as annoyingly we've just seen Norris get past Hamilton. Will he get him back down the straight here? Yes, he will. So we're, we're just stuck right now. Okay, we've recharged the batteries with K-Mag. We're going to have another go now using Overtake to try and get this done. Uh, you know what? Maybe let's not. What I think we might do, I'm just looking at tyre life here before I just came back here. And I'm wondering if we wait for Hamilton's tyres to go and then maybe do a couple of deploy laps and just try and see these guys off that way. Maybe that's what we'll do. And if we get something done in the meantime, then brilliant. But it might be a case of... We're just stuck here. The, this Mercedes must be absolutely mighty in a straight line because he's slow otherwise. Alright, we've managed to get past Norris. Let's go overtake now. We're going to try and get with the two medium tyre runners here if we can, using some overtake and DRS. And it's we're just not quite quick enough in a straight line are we and um yeah i we're just as i kept saying about that how many times have i said it we're just stuck right now we're inside the pit window what i don't want to do is stop and then have them stop as well but i'm wondering there's a all right, let's go. Let's go attack here. Let's. We've got. We've got to find a way past these cars. So we'll attack with K Mag. Sergeant's still sitting there in eleventh, battling away with Alonso. Um, here we go. There's one. That's uh, one car out of the way. Can we now go and get Gasly? I'm assuming he must be stopping. Is he Hamilton? Battery is now empty, which is frustrating. But can we go and get it done without the ERS? And we are through. All right. Well. Since we're in our pit window, we will keep on pushing along here. Good job, Kev. And hopefully, we'll get this done nice and quickly. Oh, a sergeant run wide. Logan, Logan, Logan. No, that was silly, wasn't it, mate? He locked up. locked up and gone straight. All right, so K-Mag with some free air is putting in some blistering laps. Where, I mean, he's still got Gasly right behind him. Uh, who may come by at any moment, but we're really just burning through anything that we have to use right now. And we are closing the gap to the Science russell ricardo battle in front. We've taken about a second out of them in about two or three laps. We can just see them on the, on the horizon there now. So this is the optimal lap for us to stop. Hamilton is coming in. I think we keep going, although we've got uh, Gasly in front of us again now. Maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe we do just want to stop. 
But I'm kind of thinking if we burn through the hard tires as much as possible, then we're going to have that much more medium tire to use up later on. So I think maybe we will we will stick at this. And Gasly, I mean, even if Gasly does get past, same with Hamilton. Uh, we've dropped Norris completely. But they're going to have, uh, well, I'm assuming a hard tire. What sort of tire did Hamilton put on, actually? Uh, he put on a soft. There's no way a soft's going to go 17 laps, is it? So I don't think... I th Hamilton must be making another stop. There's no way. He's, he's essentially a non-event at this point, then. He's not making the end at any real pace like that. And, um... Well, we need to back off the fuel a little bit. But I think we keep burning through these tyres. And as long as the gap in front is, is sort of coming down, which it isn't necessarily, maybe this is the lap we come in with K-Mag. Yeah, this might be our lap, I think. Because we're not... Gonna, we're going to struggle to get two laps at this pace anyway out of these tyres, I think. So we're predicted. I missed where it said we were predicted to come out then. Hamilton is the one, isn't it? He was the one that we were battling with. So if we can come out not too badly compromised to him, then that'll be a good thing. We get back past Gasly. The leaders are stopping here as well. So I'm curious to see what... Did Gasly maybe start on a hard tyre? I wonder if, he can, if he's going to go into a soft... So we'll go back just to standard now so we come out and don't burn through those mediums too quickly. And we will watch very carefully. Is this Hamilton here or is this Russell? Russell's in the pit. So Hamilton is coming down the straight. He's going to get us quite comfortably, I think. It's a 3.1 second stop. We've come out behind Gasly, have we? That's annoying. And uh, we've got an Alpha Tauri there, which is Albin. So it's 12th. Hamilton is done quite the undercut but he's on that soft tire isn't he so he's not gonna make it i don't see how a soft tire now that is 76 percent worn is going to get anywhere near the end but anyway oh what's happened there have him k-mag have him sergeant has run wide again ah oh, logan's having a day isn't he still he's sitting there in six soft tires to come you never know as we get past alban All right, so Logan Sargent is coming in for his stop. Now, everybody is absolutely flying along on soft tires. I don't I don't see how they're going to get to the end unless we have just massively underestimated how much tire life is needed. Sargent comes out in 12th, 10 seconds behind Alonso. I mean, it's saying his tires are only just about going to get there. So I don't understand how everybody else is going to is going to do this. Um, if we look at last lap times, you can see that, uh, I mean, a 35... Okay, so last lap times suggest maybe they are starting to back off. So maybe I was right that they're not going to get there at any real speed. Hamilton has got 10 laps, and this, this track does eat tyres. Um, so, yeah, we'll, I guess we'll see. We'll see how this goes. 10, 10 laps to go, as I say. Oh, K-Mag, what have you done, mate? He's locked it up. He hasn't found the fence, but he's back to ninth. And, uh... And yeah, well, that's not great. Seven seconds behind Sainz now. He's kind of... That's where he's going to finish, isn't it? Maybe Sergeant's the great hope here. We've got him on deploy as well. We're just trying to just close the gaps as much as we can. Uh... Yeah, I don't, un I, as I say, I don't understand how these other cars are doing it based off what our information says we could do with tyre life, but okay, new fastest good. lap for Logan uh, Sargent, so that's good. something. If he can get himself yeah, inside fine. the top 10 now, we'll have an extra point. All right, now Logan Sargent is absolutely catching everybody hand over fist. He is the fastest man on the track by almost a second, uh, catching these cars in front, Norris and Alonso, sometimes two seconds a lap. And you can see tire life, everybody is they're starting to really, really get to struggle point. Now, once they get to 30%, that's when they'll drop off the cliff and they will uh, genuinely struggle for pace. So Magnussen is doing fine right now on his medium tires. Uh, we might wait another lap or two, and then we'll look to kick him on a little bit in terms of uh, using his tyre up. But as things stand, Logan Sargent on attack is going to get to the end. And yeah, like I say, if he can get these two cars in front, that'll put him in the point. He'll get the bonus point then for his uh, fastest lap as well. And I don't know 
if he can get K-Mag, but the issue is going to be other cars in front of him. K-Mag is... Uh, they, he's going to, might pay a big price for that lockup because I think it's going to cost him positions. Because these tyres are going to... They're just going to really, really struggle these last few laps. Hamilton's already at 30%. Now he's just at the end of the pit straight. I don't think Sargent's going to be quite quick enough with five laps to go, but you never know. And I think we can see K-Mag up there now as well. So this is the payback, though, isn't it? This is what we said at the start when, when Sargent was sort of struggling to hang on to everybody. He had We knew he had his soft tyre run to come at the end. And he's going to be pushing these guys on their tyres to places they don't want to go as well, I would imagine. Uh, let's move K-Mag up now to be a little bit more aggressive on his tyres. And, well, we're just starting to suss up a move now. It's Norris in front who has the better of the two tyres. Alonso's tyres are far worse. And let's see if we can get one of these guys, if not both, potentially down the front straight. Because we're definitely quicker. And only Norris is going to have DRS. We might get Alonso here, you know. We do. And can we now go and get Norris and an extra point? An extra two points down this straight. Can we stick it up the inside? We can. Go on, Logan Sargent. Next up is K-Mag. Now, if we get to the back of K-Mag, we will be making sure that he gets quickly out of the way. Last lap was a 136.2 to Magnuson's 137.3. So he's a second and a bit faster. Uh, the problem, of course, is that in front of him, I don't know that we're going to get anywhere. And we've got just had Norris come back past us. Which is frustrating with the DRS. Um, we just want to be a little bit careful here. We've got a yellow flag in sector two. We should be able to make relatively quick work. There we go. And I wonder if we use up some petrol just to try and get ourselves completely clear here. What we don't want to do is drag Norris up to the back of K-Mag. Um, but we've av avoided that there. We've got half a second or so. I also want to make sure we get enough petrol to get to the end here. And Verstappen starts his final lap. Can we get to the back of K-Mag to prevent DRS? That would be, uh, or to get into a DRS train, I should say. That would be a nice thing. Norris is still right there, and we've just got to be a little bit careful on the fuel here. Where is Lando Norris? He's just behind us. Let's push. We don't really have any battery power. And is Norris going to come back past? And if he does, he doesn't there. We might have been better off with him getting past there. And then we could have had uh, another go at DRS back down this straight. We hang on for now. We've got a little bit of errors. And I think when we get to that final DRS zone, we are going to have to use it. Because we don't want Norris getting this position back from us. Let's wait till we get here. Verstappen has just won the Grand Prix. Let's go to defend. This is realistically the last place that Norris can get us. He's got his DRS opened. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. We are. But we've not got any DRS left now. If there is to be a threat into the final corner. Magnussen still just about hanging on. Come on. We've got no petrol. <laughs> We're only just going to get to the end of the line. Are we going to get there? Magnussen comes ninth and Sargent comes 10th with a fastest oh. lap as well. That's a bad... Yeah, that was a good try. So ninth and 10th, a double points finish to start the season. Like I said, I was expecting a little bit more, if I'm honest, but we've got fastest lap. K-Mag's fastest lap was competitive. Uh, was it? No, not really with the, with the top teams. So... Yeah, we only just caught Pip Leclerc for fastest lap. But, uh, you know, it's better than nothing. We've got uh, points in the Drivers' Championship. We've got points in the Constructors. I do, as I say, worry a little bit about uh, McLaren. Alpine as well, I'm assuming, will be decent. So we'll see. It's going to be an interesting season. Let me know how you think we're going to get on. Do we get any driver development points? We do for Sargent. We do not for K-Mag. And Frederick is uh, there as well. So we'll be back next time for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. I don't know how we're going to go there, but uh, hopefully we'll score some more points. Take care.